On the test, you may get a program like this and be asked to say exactly what's the output of this program. Here's how you solve a problem like this. On a piece of paper, you have one section for your variables and you have one section that tells what output you're going to see. Then you go through this program step by step, exactly as if you were the computer. So let's start off with this first statement, n equals 2. So I'm going to open up a new line here, n, and I'm going to put a 2 there. Now I go on to the for loop. I have my counter variable, which is count. I'm going to make a new line for that. And it starts off as 4. Now I move on to the next statement. I took the right-hand side. So n right now is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3 times 4 is 12. And that goes back into n. So n now is a 12. Now I say print n. So I'm just going to get the number 12. I'm not going to get the words n is 12. I want to see exactly what will be on the screen and it'll be just the number 12. I come back up to here and my count now becomes 5. Notice I don't write down count again twice or n twice. I keep one line per variable. Count is now 5 and I move on to here because I'm still in my range. n is now 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. 13 times 5 is 65, and that goes back into n. So I get a 65, and I print n, which will be output of 65. I come back to the top of my loop, and n count, excuse me, becomes 6. That's still in my range. And now the next line. 65 plus 1 is 66. So 66 times 6, which I'm going to have to do by hand here because I can't do it in my head. 6, 3, 396. So 396 will go into N. And now I'm going to print whatever's in N, which is 396. I come back up here, and the count is out of the range because I go up to but not including the 7. And so I'm out of the loop, I'm out of the program, and this is what I write down as my output for the program, 12, 65, 396. And that's how you solve problems like, what's the output of this program when you see it on the midterm?